नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ द न्यूज बुलेटिन इन द हेडलाइन टूडे वी मस्ट बी कॉन्शियस ऑफ आर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू प्रिजर्व वॉटर विच इज बिकमिंग स्कार्स सेज मिस चातन भूमिक डायरेक्टर इंचार्ज सेल रॉकला स्टील प्लांट जॉइंट हैंड्स विद गवर्नमेंट ऑफ ओडिशा टू एनहेंस द इनकम ऑफ फिशरमैन फ्रॉम एडजर्निंग एरियाज ऑफ मंदिरा डैम एंड इन आवर आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव सीरीज टू डेज पर्सन इज पंडित रघुनाथ पानीग्रह नाउ द न्यूज इन डिटेल We must be conscious of our responsibility to preserve water, which is becoming scarce," said Mr. Atanu Bhomik, director in charge of Rockland Steel Plant, while delivering his address as the chief guest at the World Water Day celebration on 22nd March. Mr. A K Kundu, E D Mines, Mr. S R Suryavanshi, E D Works, Mr. A K Pradhan, E D Projects were also present on the dais in the program organized by Water Management Department of R S P at Gopabandhu Auditorium. Mr C R Mahapatra CGM in charge MM and marketing Mr A K Behuria CGM F&D and many other chief general managers heads of department other senior officers and a large number of employees of works area attended the ceremony deliberating on the importance of water in our day to day life DIC said that the presence of water is the indicator of the presence of life and that we are celebrating water day along with the rest of the world to underscore its importance for our sustenance pointing out that water is no longer available in abundance mr bhamek exhorted all to join in the efforts of rsp for reducing water consumption and to strive to achieve zero discharge by recycling waste water emphasizing upon everyone's role in water conservation he urged the gathering to prevent wastage of water and make judicious use in domestic public and industrial arena as well as on festive occasions in his concluding remarks the dic exhorted the gathering to create awareness on judicious use of water speaking on the occasion mr suryavanshi said that the observance of world water day is nothing but an opportunity to prepare everyone to conserve water for future use he urged everyone to work towards reducing water based discrimination highlighting the five element of nature mr pradhan emphasized upon the need of preservation and conservation he exhorted everyone to look for nature based solutions to meet the future water challenges the dignitaries began the proceedings by lighting the ceremonial lamp amidst chanting of vedic shlokas by mr s panda s o s t water management department they also presented prizes to the winners of the various competitions organized for the employees and students to mark the occasion the events included quiz painting and elocution competition for students and quiz competition for rsp employees mr mohit panda of ispath english medium school the first prize winner of elocution competition also spoke on the theme Mr I Ranjan CGM Utilities and Environment delivered the welcome address and gave an insight into the theme for this year which is groundwater making the invisible visible Mr Devajit Rabha GM in charge WMD proposed a vote of thanks Mr Deepak Garg assistant manager WMD coordinated the function It is to be noted that 22nd March is being celebrated as World Water Day as per a resolution passed by the UN in 1992 In RSP it is being observed since 2004 RSP has the credit of being the first in entire seal to formulate that adopt a water policy and conduct first external water audit Seal Rockla Steel Plant has joined hands with the government of Orissa to develop pisciculture for ensuring food security and livelihood of the fisher folk living in that giant areas of Mandira reservoir a captive water body of RSP as a part of capacity building technological intervention awareness building and education of fisher folk and other stakeholders programs were organized at lang and dumarjore the model steel villages come resettlement colonies of rsp situated in rajgangpur and kuarmunda blocks respectively on 16th and 17th march 2022 250 fishing nets were distributed in the two villages among the fishing community it is noteworthy that the project is being implemented at a cost of rupees 11.21 lakh including distribution of fishing net and training mr nikhil pawan kalyan collector sundargarh and mr pk satpati edpnd rsp grazed the net distribution function held at lang 
also present on the occasion were Mr. Ajay Kumar Bhoi, Deputy Director, Fisheries, Jitendra Begara, District Fishery Officer, Mr. Arun Kumar Sahu, Additional DFO, Ms. Munmun Mitra, GM CSR RSP, Mr. D. Pradhan, DGM CSR and other officials from the state government and RSP. Mr. Kalyan praised the initiatives of RSP and emphasized upon more such fishing schemes to combat malnutrition and improve quality of life in the region. Mr. Satpati in his address assured that RSP will step out its efforts to extend further help to the fishermen of the region so as to enhance their earnings. The members of the fishermen who operate the society of the villagers were trained on scientific fish farming, fishing methods and safety precautions. Inputs were also provided on various government schemes for tapping resources for required by the group Ms. Sasmita. Kirsan, JFTA, Rajgangpur, Ms. Shraddhanjali Sahu, JFTA, Kwarmunda, facilitated the groups along with CSR official in their respective areas. It may be noted that the project was launched on 18th November 2021, under which more than 2 lakhs fingerlings belonging to the three different species of Rohu, Bhakura and Mackerel have been released in the backwaters of Mandira Dam in the later part of 2021 in the presence of representatives from CSR, Fisheries Departments of Government of Orissa and Fishermen Cooperative Society of the village. The project aims to tap the untapped potential aquaculture to ensure livelihood and contribute towards food and nutritional security. As a part of the Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav celebrations sale, Routler Steel Plant is presenting a series of news on the eminent personalities of Orissa and today's personality is Pandit Raghunath Panigrahi. Pandit Raghunath Panigrahi was born on 10th August 1934 at Gunupur in Ragayagara district and is a famous Indian classical singer and a music director. A noted vocalist of Geeta Govinda, he left a promising career in film music in Chennai to provide vocal support to his wife, Sanjukta Panigri, a legendary Orissi performer. He devoted his life towards promoting, propagating and popularizing the life and works of Sri Jayadeva, messages of Geeta Govinda and the cult of Lord Jagannath. A regular artist of the All India Radio Raghunath Panigrahi had conducted several national and international tours along with his troupe. Having lent his voice in playback to several films produced in Orissa and in the south of India, Pandit Raghunath Panigrahi is one of the most genuine interpreters of the Gita Govinda. Highly respected and awarded in India, he was also honored by the French government in 1976. He was conferred with the Sangeet Natak Academy Award, Padma Shri Sangeet Natak Academy Fellowship and Jayadeva Samman. Pandit Raghunath Panigrahi bred his last on 25th August 2013. That's all for today's news. Namaskar.